Graffiti just transcends all all boundaries. You know, you have kids from every type, every walk of life, every ethnicity, every economic background. What's up, everyone? I'm Gio, teaching artist at Sun Valley Youth Art Center. I want to go ahead and share with you a couple of elements of street art, like black booking. All right. Thank you for joining us again for another virtual black book session. This is number five. In this session, I'll be demonstrating how I develop my letters. So this is how I do my letter A. So I'm gonna do it again. So this is what I mean by the skeleton of your letter. If you're beginning and you're starting to learn how you develop letters, this is a demonstration on how I started. So I always wanted my letters to look like my signature, my tag. So I always started off with the skeleton inside and worked around it to develop the letter. So I'm gonna do this letter again. Now I'm just able to do the outline of the letter since I've memorized this and I've done this letter so many times already. So this is just the outline. I'll be doing these a little bit darker a little bit later so you can see them a lot better. But now I'm gonna do this letter again and show you how I take it a little bit further by adjusting the serifs on the bottom, the feet. That's what I'm doing now. All right, so that's one of the changes I did. So I'm gonna do this letter again. So you see what I change in this one still keeping the same changes that I made to the one on the left, which was the serifs, the feet on the bottom. And now I put the serifs on top as well. And this one, I'm gonna do it over again. And I'm gonna change the crossbar the line that goes through the A. That's gonna have some detail in it now. So I'm just sketching lightly so I can go over my mistakes with the darker pen. Right. So now what I'm doing is going a little bit darker now with the heavier weight pencil. This is like a two. The other one that I started off with is like an H. So it's a softer lead. Here I'm cleaning up so you can see the letter a lot better. Then what I'm going to start doing is drawing these arrows, these lines, these indicators showing which way the direction of the perspective the 3d so that's what these lines are indicators for our 3d now i'm going to start making all of these darker so you can see the difference of each one the ones with the serif, which are the feet and the top, and then the one that just have the serifs on the feet, and with the regular top, the sand serif.
All right, in this one, I'm gonna develop the dimension of the letter a little bit better. This is gonna be the combination of all the ones that we've done already. So it's gonna have the serif on the top and on the bottom. Now this is gonna have the dimension as well. I'm going to be making this dimension to the left. We, we already made a video that gave us a basic idea on how you can find your dimension and what direction. Go check that out on our Facebook page, Sun Valley Youth Art Center. I'm going to clean things up. So now I'm making these lines again so it's a little bit more defined. You can see the letter a lot more. Darkening up these lines. Alright, I'm going to start on this next one over here. Alright, this next one, you're going to see how I even take the letter form even further by adding detail within it, adding little cuts and niches on the line work you'll see a really good example and an outline of what i'm trying to do with this letter and what direction i'm trying to take it which is more of a gothic old english font so now i'm putting detail on the serifs on the crossbar Making them look edgy. All right. So now I'm going to work on the, the dimension for this one. Finishing up some of these details right here. Then what I'm going to do is use this black fine point sharpie and start inking this letter which is going to really stand out. You can see the difference in how far I'm pushing this letter form from its original form and structure. So I like the way this is coming out. I'm gonna ink the dimension, the 3D. It's gonna really pop out the letter. Remember it's about giving your letter a nice stance where it looks like it's positioning itself or posing. And I really like the way it's standing now. All right, Let's finish up with some of these little details. Making these lines thicker. It's gonna make it really stand out. All right, so now I'm gonna start on the new letter. This is going to be the final version that's going to be fully rendered. So now I'm just working on the outline. Alright, so I'm going to just be working on this last version of this letter. This is going to be fully rendered with all the detail. So right here I'm just doing the outline. So one good thing about repeating this structure of the letter that you'll start to remember it and it'll be a lot easier to draw. Very good practice. 
So I'm making all these final edits here, some detail. I'm gonna just go ahead and ink it. And this is gonna be the fully rendered version of it. So you can see that these letters now have a different line, line work with some wedges pinched, pinched in spaces. So now I'm gonna do the dimension. All right. Now I'm gonna start darkening up the edges. Give it some shadow. This will give it a different look. Most definitely is gonna pop out the letter and stand out. So I'm gonna make sure I do it to all the dimension. So all the 3D has this shadow on the edges. All right. So I like the look of it. Gives it a little bit more of a traditional look. So I'm gonna make my way through the letter. Now I'm gonna clean things up with this eraser. Now what I'm using is a regular ballpoint pen to go ahead and color in the 3D. So now you're gonna start seeing the dimension a lot better. It's gonna make the whole letter stand out. So now I'm going to go back to the ballpoint pen, clean up some of this area, go a little bit darker on the edges. So it looks like we have like a highlight towards the middle. All right, now I'm cleaning things up with the eraser. just putting these final details so you can see the difference between the letters so we have different versions that all come from the same letter form Just about to be finished with this letter. All right, I like it. So you can see how I developed these letters from the original A, the tag, the signature, what I also call the skeleton of the letter. And you can see how each variation is based off the original structure, that letter A, and how I just keep on pushing it further and further till I get to the last rendered version by adding different type of things like the serif, pointing the edges, adding the dimension, adding shading to the dimension, messing with the line weight. So again, my goal was to try to develop a letter 
that had this gothic old English look to it. And I think I totally achieved that. This has a little bit of that script feel to it. And also a little bit of graffiti street art style from Los Angeles vibe. So I'm happy with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I would encourage you if you're beginning to always start off with a similar process is by creating your skeleton in the beginning and adding meat to the letter on top of it, layering it. And then you'll develop your letter and your style is going to most definitely progress and it'll be something that's visible if your signature look exactly like your bigger letters you're trying to develop. So remember, your pieces should look like your tags. They should always have some type of resemblance. And also, for your artwork and your style to have some uniformity, that's always a good thing to have. black book session if you guys tried working on your hand styles i'd like to see what you got upload your artwork don't forget to hashtag us at sun valley youth art center hope to see you next video peace i'm out